can you calculate the activation energy of a reaction if you're given two rate constants at two different temperatures? Yes, you can using this equation. I'm going to label my first data points here as T1, K1, and T2, K2. Although, I will have to convert my temperatures into Kelvin. I do that by adding 273.15 to them. So 35 degrees Celsius becomes 308.15 Kelvin. And 45 degrees Celsius becomes 318.15 Kelvin. Now I can plug these temperatures and these Ks into this equation and solve for my activation energy. Let's watch that happen. The ln of K2, which I've labeled as 5.0 times 10 to the negative 4, over K1, which is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4, is the negative activation energy over R. Now R is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. The Kelvin is going to cancel out with this term, and my activation energy is going to be left in units of joules per mole. 1 over T2, which is 1 over 318.15, minus 1 over 308.15. At this point, there's a lot of math to do. So, whip out the calculator. 5.0 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 is 3.57. Now I'm also going to take the natural log of that, and I end up with 1.2729. Oh, I shouldn't have carried that many decimal places, but I did equals negative EA over 8.314 times 1 over 318.15 minus 1 over 308.15. That gives me negative 1.02 times 10 to the negative 4. Now to solve for EA, I'm going to multiply both sides by 8.314. And I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1.02 times 10 to the negative 4. Note, too, that that negative will cancel with that negative. And I've already isolated for my activation energy. So let's do that. Um, let's just do it all at once so you can watch me do it. 8.314 times 1.27297 divided by 1.02 times 10 to the negative 4. This gives me an EA of 103.760 joules per mole, which, if I'm going to convert it into kilojoules per mole, divide by 1,000 gives me 103.8 kilojoules per mole. Now, that doesn't include significant figures, but... You can do significant figures yourself without me. So, uh, you know what, I'll do it for you anyways. That's 1.0 times 10 to the 2 kilojoules per mole. I had to round this to two significant figures and put it in scientific notation because these have two significant figures. And I can't write 100, which is what this would have to become with two sig figs. It either has to be 1 or 3, depending on whether or not you put the decimal point in. So I got to do it in scientific notation, and it gives me this. Anyways, there you go. You could solve for the activation energy if you're given two rate constants at two temperatures by plugging them into this equation. You can also do it with a graph, which I will do for you in three, two, one. Can you calculate the activation energy of a reaction given two rate constants at two different temperatures? Yes, you can, using the Arrhenius equation and what you know about its graphs. This first line is the Arrhenius equation. The rate constant is the product of the Arrhenius constant, which is unique to each reaction, 
times e to the negative ea over rt activation energy gas constant and temperature now this in itself i mean i don't use it that often i'm more likely to use this the form of the equation you get when you take the natural logarithm of both sides because you can separate out the ln a and cancel the natural logarithm with the e to bring the exponent down if you know log rules you know what i'm talking about if not then you don't have to drive this yourself anyways. And it gives you that the ln of the rate constant equals negative EA over RT plus the ln of A. Now this is important because this equation takes the form of Y equals M X plus B, which is a straight line. If you make a graph and you put ln k on the y-axis, and you put 1 over t on the x-axis, you will get a straight line that has a slope of negative ea over r, and it happens to have a y-intercept of ln a. If you're ever asked to calculate capital A, you'll probably want to do it with this method. In any case, the slope being negative EA over R is the key bit we're going to use. What that means is that if our X values are actually 1 over T and our Y values are actually ln K, then negative EA over R is the slope between the two points. Now, in order to do this, I need to calculate my temperatures in Kelvin. 35 plus 273.15, and I need to do one over that, which gives me 3.245, 3.245 times 10 to the negative three for 35 degrees Celsius, and for 45, whoa, 45 plus 273.15, reciprocal, like one over, gives me 3.143 times 10 to the negative 3. Taking the natural logarithm of 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 gives me negative 8.8739. And taking the natural logarithm of 5 times 10 to the negative 4 gives me negative 7.6009. That seemed like a lot of work, but the slope, negative EA over R, is simply delta Y over delta X for me, or Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. That's negative 7.6009 minus negative 8.8739 over 3.143 times 10 to the negative 3, minus 3.245 times 10 to the negative 3. Hopefully that didn't seem like magic to you. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You did it in grade 9 or earlier probably. Negative 7.6009 minus negative 8.8739 gives me 1.273 on top. And 3.143 times 10 to the negative 3 minus 3.245 times 10 to the negative 3 gives me negative 1.02 times 10 to the negative 4. When I divide those two numbers, I get negative 12480.4. All right, so that's my slope between these two points. And to solve for my actual activation energy, all I have to do is cancel the negatives and multiply that by my gas constant. That's 12480.4 times 8.314. I'm using 8.314 because it has units of joules per mole Kelvin. That gives me 103,762 
joules per mole, which is 103.8 kilojoules per mole, which if I'm going to put it into uh, sig figs is 1.0 times 10 to the 2 kilojoules per mole. Oh, that's sig fig stuff. I hate it as much as you do. But point is that you can calculate the activation energy by using the logged form of the Arrhenius equation and knowing that if you use ln k as your y values and 1 over t as your x values, that negative Ea over R is your slope. And you isolate for Ea, and it gives you the same number you get if you used the equation form of solving for activation energy. How about that? What a party. Best of luck to you.